I need your guidance as the leader of the opposition. Um, I understood you to be saying we must speak and we must, as a parliament, take action where we can. Um, you will recall that last week I did say that the motion for suspension was um, premature, appropriate, but premature. Are you saying, I just want to know if this is the direction you wish us to go in. Are you saying that in matters where we have the type of behavior, the, 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 the abuse against um, women, corruption, um, actions that this parliament should not tolerate and can take action. Are you saying, therefore, that we are not going to be hypocrites and we are not going to single out a particular action? We are going to look now as a full parliament, as a parliament that wants to be honest and straightforward. That, that members, that because if this is a cleansing, let us be total and honest. Am I hearing, am I, am I hearing from the opposition that at this point where we have matters that we can do something about and that are wrong and are so established to be wrong that we should do something. Is this what the opposition is saying? And, and, and I stand to facilitate and balance the scales. I will move along if this is where we are going as a parliament because the country calls for us to be united. If there are matters, if there are matters that, if there are matters for which there are criminal charges, which, to my mind, and not just to my trained mind, to the mind of every simple, single Jamaican who can analyze, that are presently in our courts, that speaks to behavior that we will not tolerate, are we saying are we saying that any member so involved must, you are moving and you are prepared to move for a suspension of that? Are you, is this what you're saying? <laughs> Madam Speaker. a serious matter and I'm merely trying to understand where we are going as a parliament and how as a united front we are going to deal with issues that are before us. Please, I really Madam want to Speaker, understand. There is one issue before us today or about to be put before us today which is an issue which is, which is an issue before the Members, members. There's no other issue before us today. Excuse me, and members. Mem just a moment. Members on the government side, please, please allow 
the leader of the opposition to answer and so that I can understand and so that I can make a judgment call from where I sit. I, I would like to understand. Please allow him to speak. Madam Speaker, thank you. I hope they will allow me to speak. The, <clears throat> there is one matter that we intend to bring forward today. We're bringing it forward today because it's a matter of national interest. It's a, it a matter which has outraged many, many people around Jamaica. It is a matter which, for which there have been demonstrations in various places. And, and, and it's a matter which has resulted in the government changing their own caucus and issuing statements about taking an individual out of whatever positions that person has, even though he still remains a, a member of the governing party, as I understand it. So, Madam Speaker, that is before us today. I don't want to speak in generalities. I don't know really where you're going with this. I don't know where you're going with this. But any, any member, any member in here can bring a motion. Exactly. If you have something to bring a motion about. Bring it. So that is what I would say. I'm not speaking in generalities. Bring in what, bring along. If you have things you want to complain about, bring it here and let us debate it. But we are bringing this here today, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Uh, member, member, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask the government members to allow everyone to have their chance to speak. And leader of the opposition, I am not angry. I'm not flustered. I want to understand. I will refer to my ruling last week, which is before this um, house. I said, as you correctly said, it, is, it was an appropriate motion, but it was premature. Morality and what is right and what is wrong, even as this country looks at us, because now remember, I am not talking of a motion, I'm asking for your direction based on your response. Morality does no time. Morality does not speak to the present, the past, or the future. Morality is something that we all grasp as a concept. Yes. Listen. And yes, and yes, we have before us a motion, an issue that is of national interest. But I want to say to you, there are other issues of great national interest. And, and, and a member on the opposition, please allow me to speak in silence. And I want to state clearly two points. One, which is important, and this came out very strongly in the meeting of the women on both sides. We must not appear to be hypocritical about what we say. And therefore, we cannot say that there are wrongs that face us that we sit with, but today, because there is just one motion on the table, we're not, we're going to close our eyes and deal with that. Because I want to say to you, in the public domain, um, domain, as much as that video went viral, in the public domain, domain, there are matters of national interest, right? That is in a far advanced stage in terms of criminal charges and, and moral issues that affect us as a country, as a people, that I believe if we come, they say he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. I say to you today, we have to decide as a parliament if we are going to come clean with it. It is, I, I listened carefully to the women this morning, and I want to applaud them 
They want action. They did not ask for blood. They want action to start. What I hear is what we have as a parliament is action that has begun. And sometimes, in haste, we create more damage than we repair what is there. I sit here to balance the scales, and I want to urge us, as the women in Parliament did this morning, there is a call for unity. There is a call for action. There is nowhere space to indicate that there has been no action. There has been action. And as I say to you, again, we are going to have to examine that the suspension you have called for, we have not condoned, we have said actions that are seen, individual are wrong, but they have not reached the stage that charges in relation to corruption have reached. And therefore, it is unfair, it is hypocritical for us, it is hypocritical for us to want to travel in that direction and leave something that stands at a higher level. And that is where my thoughts are.